Hey everybody, today I'm going to install a 42 inch ceiling fan with an LED light into this bedroom here. And so first things first, you need to make sure your power is off. You don't want to get electrocuted. Um, if you've got an existing light, go ahead and take that off, which I've already done for you. And what we'll do next is take this base plate here for the fan and we will route our wires through and we're going to use the screws that are already up here and we're going to screw this into place. So we've got some adjustability here in terms of where we want to mount the screw. So there's four little mounting areas. So what I'm going to do is take these existing screws out of here and this will mount directly to the existing mount up here on the ceiling. Additionally, the ceiling fan does come with all of the necessary hardware. So um, if you need to use the washers, they provide them for you. After you've got your mounting plate installed, we're gonna take the motor here and this large base plate here, decorative plate, and we're going to remove six of these Phillips screws and mount the plate. After you've got all of those six screws nicely tightened, we can take this decorative little ring here and slide this on. So you might need to squeeze it a little bit in order to get it in. At this point, we can go ahead and take our light module here and we're going to connect the hot and the neutral as well as the ground. And so the ground comes out of the plate here, so we'll just mount this directly to this grounding wire up here, and then we'll mount and connect the white to the white and the red to the black. Additionally, there's a hook on the actual mounting bracket here that will help hold this light module in place, so that way it's not totally dangling. So. Additionally, there are four of these screws that go all the way around here. So what we need to do is remove two of them. So this is to hold the light up into place. On the actual uh, motor itself, there are four of these as well, but two of them are slotted. So we can leave two of them up and take two of them out. All right, then what we'll do is we'll take our entire motor assembly here there's two plugs, they plug directly into the light module. So there's one with three prong and one with two prong. So go ahead and get those plugged in. They only go in one direction as well. One is for the actual motor, for the fan. And then on the other side, it's for the actual light. And then you can go ahead and tuck this all up in here out of the way and you can start mounting the actual light and again it'll hang off of the two screws that are up here currently make sure they're loose just like so. And then you can go ahead and take those two screws you removed from the plate and go ahead and reinstall those. Those will help lock this all into place. So once you've got that all situated, go, you can go ahead and take the little mounting ring here and slide it on up and it will compression fit into place, just like so. Next up, at this point, we can go ahead and install the fan blades. And so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws that we need to remove in order to put the fan blades on.
And then when it comes to the actual fan blades, you have the option of doing white or silver. So I'm going to do silver here. And what I'm gonna do is slide this in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the screws. Only we're going to add these little red washers on here. And so those are gonna help with anti-vibration and noise. So go ahead and reinstall all nine of those. Once you've got all nine of those screws in place, your blades are fully secured. We can go ahead and work on the light. So we need to remove these three Phillips screws and then put the light back on. This is our LED light and you'll see that the power is in here. So we're gonna slip this wire through and then connect the power. All right, so that'll click into place and then you can go ahead and reinstall those three screws. And then finally, we can take our light cover here and turn it on, put it in and twist and it'll lock into place just like so. And the install is complete. All right, so at this point, the install is complete. So we've got our wireless remote here. I put a couple batteries in and I'm gonna go ahead and test it. Hit the light switch, turns right on. And then there are actually six different numbers on here that indicate fan speed. So if I hit one, so this is the lowest speed. Nicely balanced, it doesn't make any noise or any clicking or anything like that. So super nice, puts out a ton of air, which is awesome. And then I can cycle through. This is speed six, a lot more wind. Still nice and quiet, balances nicely. There's also an off button. So if I hit that center button there, it turns it off. And again, there is a light button. There's also a plus and minus, so that's a dimmer. So if we wanted to dim this down, I can go ahead and hold it down. And you can see it's getting dimmer. If I want to make it brighter, I can hold the plus sign down and make it brighter. Additionally, there are a couple buttons on here, one hour, three hour, six hour. So it's a timer on here. So if you hit one hour, it'll stay on for one hour. If you want to have it on for six hours, you hit six and it'll stay on for six. Additionally, there's a rotate button. So it'll actually change the direction of the air, depending on if you want it to point down or point up. You've got a nice little button here just to handle that as well. So super simple and easy to use. Works flawlessly, no issues, highly recommend it. Hope you guys enjoy this review.